this video I'm going to go over how to add the Camac node server to your ISY. Now Camac is a smart artificial intelligence camera server. What it'll do is take many of the different cameras that are on the market today um, and just streaming IP address cameras and be able to integrate them into one hub so you can see them uh, from their interface, all your different cameras. But the unique thing is that you can set up custom alerts. Not just alerts when it sees motion, but alerts when it sees specific motion. Things like if a FedEx truck arrives, if the mailman is on my property, if a dog is in the backyard. Um, I want certain things to happen and now the ISY can take that input and convert it to meaningful logic and ultimately run a program that could do all sorts of things. So let's go ahead and talk about what that's going to take. The first thing is you're going to need an ISY. You'll need an ISY that runs 5.0 firmware. I think 5.3 is or above is the version that you'll want to be running. And you'll also need a policy. The policy is a controller from Universal Devices that is an autonomous cloud server. It runs autonomously in your home and it mimics the cloud server that they have if you happen to have an ISY's cloud account at the my.isy.io page. Um, that supports a handful of nodes, but the policy, since it runs autonomously in your home, supports about a hundred different nodes. And one of those is the one that integrates CAMAC to your ISY. Um, and then you're going to need the CAMAC hub, and you can get that from CAMAC.com. C-A-M-E-C-T dot com. Let's go ahead and get started. You'll need to know the IP addresses of your policy, which is the device sold by Universal Devices specifically to run your node servers. Um, you'll need to be able to log in to the admin console of your ISY, and you'll need to be able to get in and know the IP address of your CAMEC hub. So all three of these things that you'll need. All right, so first I'm going to log in to my policy. And that is P O L I S Y, is how it's spelled. And you can get those on Universal Devices website at universal devices.com. I'll have all this information in the notes on this video. I want to click on Node Server. I want to go to the Server Store. And I want to go down and add the one for CAMEC. It's right here. Jim Cyril. Now I've added it. I'm going to go back up here, click on Node Server, and then you see the second tab, Add Node Server. Basically what it did is it queued up that node and it put it into almost like a shopping cart um, waiting to be uh, loaded into your policy. So this is the CAMEC one. It's going to go in slot two. I'm going to hit submit and then I'll confirm. Now I'm going to watch and see that it's successful. See the green banners are telling me um, that it connected. It tells me once I load it, I need to reset my ISY. It'll still work. Um, if you don't, but it's a good practice to uh, reset or reboot everything after you're done. Now I'm going to click on details. I'm going to click on configuration. And I'm going to go down here and add my password. This will be the password that you use when you log into your CAMEC hub directly by its IP address. And uh, once you're a CAMEC user, that information will be in the documentation, but it's basically the prefix of the email address that you use for logging in. So if it was steve at CAMEC.com, then my password would be steve by default, and the username will be admin. Once you've logged in, you can change it to whatever you want.
right? And it has some sample text in there. Make sure to delete all of that um, before you put in your username and password. Now, where it says add CAMAC host, by default, it's already filled in for you. And most of the time this works. I prefer to actually type in the IP address, and that's why I suggested knowing that ahead of time. So here's the IP address of my CAMAC controller on my local network. 192.168.0.78. Now I'm going to do save changes. Now you'll notice this blue banner up here has been telling me, hey, once you set that username and password, you're going to want to restart the node server. And if you look right now, it has just the default node is in here. I'm going to hit restart. It's disconnected. It'll reconnect and watch this count up as it pulls in all of the nodes that are in my Kamek controller. All right. Now I'm going to go into my admin console. You can see they've all shown up in here. I can query this so it shows up now right here in my ISY. Anytime something's been added after the fact, I can just say, hey, go and add all nodes. If I added, um, uh, you know, sort of some up new update came to the CAMAC Hub that created another channel, you could just go and it'll pull in anything. So now that we have this, and I'll explain a little bit what you're looking at, these are the different camera names that I have in my CAMAC controller. Living room, Doug chair, backyard, and doodle. Each camera has categories under which it can look. So for vehicles, we have all of these different things, Amazon, truck, bicycles, motorcycles, buses, UPS, cars, uh, insects. It'll look for a couple of different types of insects. And this is something where if you've got a problem where you get a spider that climbs over the lens of one of your cameras, you can actually have that be something you don't want to be alerted for. And, uh, and you can put that into the logic of CAMEC and it won't send those alerts if it sees something like an insect or a spider. Under animals, then I can choose these different categories here. And uh, if I specifically wanted to look for a dog, that's one of the channels that I have. So let's go see what it takes to write a program. I'm going to create a new program and I'm going to just call it dog. So I'm going to say if control and I have, I can go to my different cameras and I want to go in the animal channel is dog. Then I want to turn my test scene on. Then I want to wait one minute and I'm going to turn the test scene back off. Now you'll notice where I typed in the name in the program, this box is open, meaning I can click and I could extend the name or edit it. You want to click away from it so it closes the box. Then you're going to want to go down and hit Save Changes. Then I can go back and look at my program. Now, if my backyard camera is triggered and it finds a dog, it's going to turn on the test program. It'll wait one minute, turn it off. So you can see sort of the sky's the limit here now on different events and triggers that you can use with the CAMEC node server for the ISY.